Where do my Zoom recordings go after the recording is over with? There are two places and that really depends on what you choose or what you select when you start your meeting or when you organize your series of meetings. So I wanna jump in and show you what that looks like before you actually open your meeting and start recording and the two locations that it could end up in. So on this screen, you'll see that I have a dialog box and some things open, and that is on purpose because then I don't have to reopen them afterwards and it makes this video go a little bit quicker. So I'm in a live Zoom here, right? You can see, and I'm gonna click on record. When I click on record, there's gonna be a dialog box that opens. It's gonna ask if I wanna record on this computer, which is the device that is running this Zoom meeting, or if I wanna record in the cloud. When I record in the cloud, that is connected to my Zoom account that I'm hosting this meeting, and it will only stay in there for a period of 30 days, and then it deletes. So that's something that you need to be aware of. If I save it on my computer, it will save it in a specific Zoom file, generally on my desktop or in your downloads, depending on how you have your computer set up, that you can go back and look at at any time. So I am going to record on this computer, and I'm only gonna do about 30 seconds. And so what you'll see is it's recording. This is a normal Zoom conversation. It goes on for an hour, whatever happens. And then when you click on stop the recording, that recording is now stopped. Well, that recorded portion will go to wherever setting you have. Now notice that I'm still in the meeting. If I just want to record the entire meeting till the very end, again, now this time I'm going to click on record in the cloud you'll notice that it's now recording up here in the top left corner. Well, when I'm done with the meeting and I wanna end, that's when the actual recording gets sent to wherever it's going to go, to wherever it's going to go, and whatever option you chose. So I'll click on end meeting, end meeting for all, and you'll see there's gonna be a couple things that happen. A dialog box shows up and it's going to convert the meeting recording and it pulls up the specific folder that that Zoom recording is in. And you'll notice that not only does it give you an MP4, uh, it gives you an audio file as well, a, an M4A, that you could use just as a podcast or something other file that you can send. And you'll see here in my Zoom folder, right here on my desktop, is that it will have the recordings from today. So it has one from two or three minutes ago when I recorded this video. Now in Zoom, if I record it to the cloud, I need to go to my Zoom account, and this is my home account here, over under personal, the fourth or fifth menu item down, click on recordings, and you'll see that I have my previous three recordings here that I've kept. Now, I think I misspoke earlier when I said that it deletes after 60 days. That depends, or 30 days. It depends on the account that you have. Mine is showing that it deletes after 90 days. So that's three months that you'll have access to that file. And when I click right here, I can now share this link out to anybody through email. Um, I can download that to my computer. I can basically share that Zoom link to anybody. If I'm sharing it from my computer, Again, I'll click in here. I'm just sharing that individual MP4 file. That is where Zoom recordings go when you're done, either to the cloud connected with your Zoom account or second on your desktop, phone, or tablet if you're hosting a Zoom from there. If you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.